Hi everyone, it's Rachel, um, and welcome to the second episode of Furlongs and Horses. Um, I know yesterday I said that I was going to be doing three videos. I've actually changed my mind a little bit. I'm just going to do one, only because when I went to go do uh, the first video uh, about a half hour ago or so, um, my lovely dog, Molly, decided that she wanted to be petted and kind of, well, yeah. So, I'm just going to do the Holy Bull this week. Um, I wasn't going to do the um, any blog posts on my blog, but I changed my mind. Um, the two races that I'm going to do, I was going to do as well. Those will be found on my blog as well. So let's go get into it. Um, first, I'm going to uh, just do a little bit more housekeeping. You can find my blog at furlondrive.blogspot.com. I'm on Twitter, where you can find me at furlondrive. And last week, I previewed four races. Um, and just a reminder of uh, those races, the Sunshine Millions Philly and Mare Sprint. I had picked our free roll to win, and it was actually won by Ula Pool. Um, I had Prayer for Relief to win the uh, uh, Louisiana Handicap, and Ford Dubai won that. Um, Toasting was my Sunshine Millions distaff pick, and Sweet and Discreet, who I had hoped to stay in the race, did, and she actually won that. And then finally, I had Z Watt to win the Stroop and Shaking It Up uh, won the race. So let us get down to the nitty gritty and the Holy Bowl. This is um, a prep for the Fountain of the U Fountain of Youth, which is a prep for the Florida Derby, which is a prep for the Kentucky Derby. It's a Grade Two and it's at mile sixteenth, and this is actually a pretty good field. Um. There are 11 entered, so I'm just going to go from post 1 out. Post 1 is Coupe de Gras, or Coupe de Grace, um, whichever way you prefer to pronounce it. He is uh, a tappet out of a Stormcat mare, home court, and John Velasquez, back from injury, uh, will be riding him. He's two for two, but he's never been two turns. And uh, this is his stakes debut. So it'll be interesting. Um, I know a lot of people think that he could be a really good horse. Um, if there's any concern I have for this week, it's that his jockey's coming back from injury that had kept him out of most of the Breeders' Cup, and he missed uh, the mount on Wise Dan because of it after an injury in the uh, Juvenile Phillies. Um, number two is Financial Mogul, and he's by Street Boss out of a Snow Chief uh, Mare, uh, uh, Train Chris. Um, and Jose Ortiz will be riding. Second in the Nashua, and then he was fourth in the uh, Futurity. But those were his last two races. Um, and he will be facing, I think, at least one other horse who is in the Nashua. I know that for a fact. Um, but those were sprints. Um, well, the Nashua, I think, is still a distance race. But the Futurity is a sprint now. Um, best plan yet is number three, and he's by here. Uh, no evil out of a Bayou Herbert Mare. Uh, Bayou plans, and he was ninth in the Gulfstream Park Derby, but before that he had won. Uh, the in reality in the foolish pleasure, pleasure. Those are Florida Stallion Stakes series. Races and Jackson Bend, uh, big drama, both won them. But 
Um, fact that he was ninth against open company does not give me a lot of hope. Number four is Almost Famous, and he's by Umbrado Son out of a Forest Wildcat Mare Wild Gams, and Calvin Burrell will be riding him. Oh, and I forgot, uh, Edgar uh, Zayas will be uh, riding Best Plan Yet. But getting back to Almost Famous, uh, he was fourth in the street sense, but he had round, rebounded in his last uh, to win an allowance. Um, obviously being by Umbrado Son, two turns won't be a problem, but for out of Forest Wildcat Mare, who did her best running in sprints, probably, um, a little bit up against it, uh, when, as the distances get longer, but he has a good shot in this race. Number five is Our Caravan in Dahar, um. Uh, is his sire, Alvin Elusive Quality Mayor uh, Alwan, and Corey Lannery will ride. He only has one start, which was a win, and uh, the runner up of that race finished uh, third in his first start of the year. Number six is Mr. Speaker. He's by Pulpit of an Unbridled Mayor Salute. And Jose Lascano will ride. He's only run on turf. Um, his last one was in the Dana uh, Beach. But being by pulpit, Alvin Umbridal Mare, the second dam is personal um, ensign. So, you know, two turns, not a problem. Dirt, not a problem. So, of course, Storm Flag Fine, My Flag, um, who else came from that family recently that made a, well, War Emblem Sire was, uh, from that female family. And the interesting thing about Mr. Speaker is that his, he has, um, two stable mates who might be even better, and one of them, top billing, goes in an allowance race on the undercard. So, I actually think that I like turf to dirters because they might end up being better on dirt. That being said, last week I chose a turf uh, to dirter in the comp and it blew up in my face. <laughs> so, uh, it'll be interesting where he how he does here. Number seven is Cairo Prince, and he's by Pioneer of the Nile, out of a Holy Bull Mare, a Holy Buppet, and Luis Sayas will be riding. He was second in the, na uh, I'm sorry, he was second in the Remsen, but he won the Nashua. And a lot of people think that he's the horse to beat. Uh, I certainly think he's the horse to beat. Um, but I think that the horse next to him might be the horse to beat him. And that's number eight, Wicked Strong. And he's by Hard Spun. Out of a charismatic mare, Moyne Abbey. Uh, Javier Castellano, the uh, now new uh, Eclipse winning Jockey uh, rides him. He was third in the Remsen where he was closing. And then before that, he had broke his maiden. And the winner of that, um, at the second place finisher uh, in that maiden race, Cool Samurai, came back to win in uh, California. Of course, being hard spun, two turns won't be a problem. Even though he's out of a charismatic mare, when Abby probably was better around that mile distance, but, um, I haven't really looked at his, uh, female family deeper, but if he can win this race, um, and if he goes to the Fountain of Youth or skips it for the Florida Derby, he has a big shot, uh, in either race. Number nine is Conquest Titan. And he's by Birdstone out of a mineshaft mare, 
Minor Secret, and Sean Bridge Mohan will ride him. And my biggest concern with him is the last two times he was in a greatest stakes race, which was two back and three back. He finished fifth and, um, sorry, he finished 13th and fifth. 13th in the juvenile and then uh, fifth in the breeders for charity. He won his last out, so I don't know. I know I think there are a couple of people who probably like him, but I can't see how he beats uh, Cairo Prince or Wicked Strawn. Um, so, I mean, being by Birdstone, anything can happen. Of course, having a mineshaft mare um, and having helps too. Uh, number... 10 is Big Bazina and I or Big Bazinga I'm I'm such bad at names uh he's by Bluegrass Cat Alvin Maria's Mon Mare uh Darling Daughter um 7th in the Delta Jackpot and Jack Delta Jackpot and then he was second in the gray and uh, Joe Bravo will ride. So, uh, probably has no chance here as well. And then number 11 is Intense Holiday. He's by Harlan's Holiday out of an Umbridal's Son Mare, uh, Intensify. And Joel Rosario, who had a great winner uh, in early spring last year. Actually, a great season. Uh, that got him an Eclipse finalist. Uh, fourth in the Remsen and the Nashua. Um, he might be the horse that could upset the uh, apple court cart for anyone. So, yes, yeah, so that is uh, this year's Holy Bull Field. And I'm going to pick Wicked Strawn to win the race. Uh, in second, I have Cairo Prince. And in third, I think it's going to be Mr. Speaker. And if any of those three lose, uh, I'm thinking Intense Holiday will win it. So I apologize for any rushness I have this week. I just wanted to get this video up. Um... Next week, hopefully, crossing my fingers, um, we'll be back on Thursday live, and then I will do more races then. So, I will talk to you all next week.